Hello everybody, this is Adam Zollinger, and this is my class, 3DS Max Furniture, a modeling masterclass covering every technique necessary for creating awesome high detail furniture in 3DS Max. I want to show you this sample rendering I've done because this contains a bunch of the kind of things that we're going to be modeling in this course. I didn't model, model all of these, but I modeled a lot of it. And you can see this is the kind of high detail stuff I'm talking about. There's these chairs in the foreground, a telescope, a guitar, an amp, lots of furniture, this cool camera over here. And we're going to be covering mostly furniture, but the techniques that I use are the same techniques I use to create all the assets in this scene. So this is the kind of thing you can be expecting to learn how to do. I'm also going to add a Mudbox workflow eventually, so check in the curriculum to see if it's there. I'm going to show how I make things like this, using 3ds Max to Mudbox and then back to 3ds Max again. These are some of the files from this course. I'm going to be painting custom textures showing you how to do UVW unwrap at run wrapping of our furniture. There's going to be reflection maps, specular maps, diffuse maps, all these things coming together to make a nice thumbnail of the fin finished piece of furniture that you'll be following along with. That looks like this. We're going to be making this furniture and we're going to be able to apply the techniques that we learn with this piece to really any piece that we come across. Here's some of the things that you should expect to learn throughout the course. Graphite tools. There's going to be more of those coming soon. I cover them very briefly as of right now. But just know that throughout this course, or throughout the time period that you're enrolled in the course, I will be continually adding new techniques and new features and new lectures to make sure that this course is robust and eventually contains every bit of information you need for making the best furniture out there. This course will teach you all the edit poly tools you need for making nice furniture models. We'll go over the cloth modifier, as you can see on the right, for adding variation and wrinkles. We'll briefly cover V-Ray Fur, and that's in an upcoming lecture. I'll show you how to use the pressure setting to make cushions and make model organic pieces of furniture with nice wrinkles that look very realistic. I'll show you how to model stitching, modeling wrinkles and variation into your furniture, studio lighting setup for rendering nice thumbnails, tips and info for selling your models online, places like TurboSquid, UVW unwrapping, painting custom maps in Photoshop, compositing your rendering using V-Ray, render elements, and Photoshop, everything you need to model high detail, efficient, organic models, and much more. As you can see on the right here, that is a screenshot from one of my lectures showing a very efficient, but also organic looking model with wrinkles. And you can see there's high poly where the wrinkles are, low poly everywhere else, making the model very efficient, very clean, very nice, perfect for selling online. Here's some examples of other things I've created using the same modeling techniques that we'll be learning in this course, essentially edit poly tools. Also UVW unwrapping and painting of custom textures and rendering using V-Ray in a studio lighting setting. I hope you guys join the course. It's going to be great. And remember, I'm constantly going to be adding new techniques, new lectures, so that you can come back again and again and have all the info you need to make awesome furniture and sell it online to others if you so desire.